Hi kids, Pastor Al here. Nice to see you this Sunday morning. Too bad I don't get to see all of you in person, but you know, the day will come again when we all get to do that, and we'll really, really, really enjoy it when we can. Hey, you know, a lot of times I show you a dog video, and I have a little bit of a lesson to talk to you about from it. Uh, this Sunday, I'm going to show you a video of another creature. You know, there's some other critters in the world I like, and I came across this video, and I thought it was pretty cool. So let me show you a video of somebody having a little bit of a interaction with another four-legged creature, but, well, this one's a little smaller than most dogs. Now, how cool would that be to have a squirrel come up to you and and want to drink a water and be able to kind of tell you what he wanted and for you to give him a drink? And but he was really thirsty, wasn't he? I mean, he I know we spilled a lot of water, but. Boy, for a little guy, he sure drank a lot of water. I don't know why he wasn't able to find water somewhere else. That person did a really, really nice thing to him. Although I would note that if you listen to the video carefully, the first thing he says is he doesn't really want to give his water to the squirrel. You know, and my first reaction was, oh my gosh, I'd love to have a squirrel come up to me and ask for a drink of water. Because it would just be able to cool, really cool to be able to do that kind of a favor for a little squirrel. Now, the funny thing is, we'd all probably go out of our way to do something cool for a squirrel. But sometimes we don't do a very good job of doing something cool for people around us. I mean, hey, it'd be fun to give a squirrel a drink of water, right? But, well, you know, if there was somebody at school who wasn't very popular and needed a friend, we wouldn't want to be their friend. Or maybe if my brother or sister needed help cleaning up their room, well, I'm not going to do that. Because that's not fun. That's not cool. You know, Jesus told a story about a guy who got beat up and left by the side of the road. All sorts of people that were supposed to be really good people just walked right by him, didn't care. And then a guy who kind of everybody hated and thought was, you know, not a person they'd want to hang out with, stopped and, and cared for him and made sure he was going to be okay. And Jesus says that's the kind of person he wants us to be. So I want you to make sure that you look for opportunities in life to help people. Most of the time, it won't look like a squirrel coming up asking for water. It's going to be something pretty normal. Like, you know, a brother or a sister or a parent or a friend just asking for help. Or you seeing somebody who needs a friend or needs a little someone to talk to or help pick them up or something. And, and I've told you this before. When people ask us for things, we don't have to give them everything or give them all of our stuff or do it every single time. But we should be more worried about the people that need our help than what we might give up by giving that help. So I hope that you'll look for the squirrels in your life. They're not going to be furry with big bushy tails. They're going to probably be people who look a lot like you and a lot like me and just need someone to give them a little bit of help. And especially we hope that when we give them help, they will see that the reason we do that is because we understand that we have a God who gave us the best help that could ever be by sending his son, Jesus Christ, to live for us and to love us and to die for us and to rise from the grave for us, to show us how much God loves us. And because God loves us so much and we know that, well, then we can help love other people too. And we hope when we help people, they see just a little bit of Jesus in us. Give that a try. Kids, it's good to see you again this Sunday morning. I'll see you again next week, either here on the video or maybe even in church. God bless. Bye-bye.